Next, you'll need something to crash into. And instead of the usual laboratory setup, we've gone for this. Yes, all you need is five brick walls spaced one metre apart. Now, the cynic might say, you've only done that so you can have lots of crash, bang, wallop and bricks flying around. But not so, because this cunningly replaces the industry standard five-star crash rating system with the five brick wall crash rating system. All you need then is this complex pulley system as used on 51st State and Casualty to propel cars at speed without the need for a driver. Well, no. All you need, finally, is to then reverse the gears in the gearbox of one of the cars so it can go backwards at speed. And then you are ready. And first, the traditional forward crash test. Excellent. Now, the first and most important job is to repeat the crash in slow motion several times. Now, cynics might say that this is just so we can see bricks flying around slowly in a childish manner, but not so. This is a useful way of analysing how the car performed in the test. Although the bricks flying about do look good. And now for the reverse crash and potentially a pioneering Top Gear safety breakthrough. I mean, very interesting. You can see clearly from this slow-mo repeat that stuff is going everywhere. Even before we get the results back to the lab, it's clear that the car that crashed in reverse fared much better than the car that crashed forwards. I mean, just look at the state of that engine. So, not a big cockabout, but an important scientific experiment. Because what we've shown is, clearly, the roads would be a far, far safer place if cars were built backwards.